What up growers, BLG, and we are back for another DIY LED grow light build, and we're gonna be building a light for a four by four grow space. We're gonna be featuring four quantum board 120s. Shout out to horticulturalightinggroup.com. If you guys haven't checked out the quantum boards yet, there will be a link down in the description below so you guys can do that. Uh, to the quantum boards and as well to horticulturalightinggroup.com's website. We will also be putting a link down below for our quantum board giveaway that is happening right now. So make sure you guys go check out that video and get your entries into the quantum board giveaway. If you haven't already, there's also some other things besides quantum boards as well. So make sure you're checking those out. All right, back to the quantum board build. We're gonna be featuring four QB120s in a four x four grow space. You guys could see the measurements here, how we'll have each quantum board spaced out. Each of those boards is gonna be covering a two by two space in that overall four x four area. The boards will be powered by a Meanwell 240H 2100 milliamp driver, and that is gonna push each board at about 50 watts a piece and giving our fixture a total wattage of about 200 watts at the wall at full power. We will be going with a B-series driver, so we will be able to dim this fixture down. Some other driver options are the Meanwell 185-1400, and that's gonna push your boards at 120 watts total, or you can also go with the 240H-1750, and that'll give you 160 watts at the wall at full power. Let's take a look at a quantum board real quick before we begin this build. There's three things I wanted to point out on the Quantum Board 120, and that is the three points I have circled in red here. These are gonna be contact points that are live. Uh, so if you're gonna be building a frame like we're gonna be doing with some angled aluminum channel, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that these contact points are not touching your frame or any metal because they are hot, they will be live, and uh, they could cause the board to short out. So please make a quick note of that on the QB120s. The frame is all assembled, the quantum boards are attached, and we are going to begin wiring the boards. Again, we're going to be wiring in series. The first wire we put in there is going to be the positive wire, and that is going to go to the driver. And then we're going to connect the negative side of this first quantum board and bring it right over to the positive side of our second quantum board. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna connect the negative side of the second quantum board. 
we're gonna bring it around our frame and put it into the positive side of our third quantum board. And again, we're gonna go from the negative side of our third quantum board and into the positive side of our last quantum board. And lastly, we're gonna put the black wire, use that as our final negative outlet that'll go into the driver. I used two pieces of scrap aluminum and attached them in the center of the frame. And grabbing our HLG 240H 2100B series driver, that is just going to sit right in between those two pieces of angled aluminum and we're ready to wire up our quantum boards and connect them to the driver. We're going to be connecting them to the output side of the driver. As you can see there, the blue is going to be the negative and our brown is going to be the positive wire. So we're going to connect that to the red and the black that is coming off of our quantum boards and we're going to use a couple of two-way Wago connectors so there'll be no soldering required to connect the quantum boards to the driver. This is a B-series driver so we are going to be soldering up a potentiometer and we're going to be using the left pin and the middle pins as you can see there. Now it doesn't take very much effort to do some simple soldering like this. Uh, even if it is only your first time, you can just buy a soldering kit that is about 10 to 12 bucks and you'll be able to get the job done. You can see we've got a gray and a black. You can see they are identified by the little strips of wire on the bottom there. It's much easier to solder the potentiometer if you have a vise or something to hold it. Um, however, we're just going to stick the wires in and kind of balance it here while we solder. You can see we're going to do the black in the middle and the gray on the left. If you guys want to skip the soldering, you can go ahead and run the A series driver, and uh, they won't have the um, wires to attach a potentiometer, so therefore, you will not have to solder one up. All right guys, we've got our quantum boards attached to the driver. We've got our potentiometer soldered up and we're ready to now attach the power cord. We're gonna be going on the input side of the driver. We've got a brown wire that's gonna represent the hot, a blue that's gonna represent the negative, and a green that is gonna represent a green or common. So you can see there on the wires, the three different colors, and we're gonna attach those to our HLG waterproof connector. The three terminals inside the connector are also color coded. We're going to use the copper for the hot wire. We're going to use the black for the negative wire and then we'll go ahead and use the silver or chrome for the common or green wire. <laughs> because we used to be cheating ourselves the whole way down the line. We thought of life by analogy with the journey, with the pilgrimage, which had a serious purpose at the end. The thing was to get to that end. Success or whatever it is, or maybe heaven, or the other But we missed the point the whole way along. All right, 
last thing left is to connect our power cord to the other side of our connector. And here in the United States, we are gonna have a black wire that is gonna represent the hot side, a white wire that is gonna represent negative, and the green wire that is gonna represent the ground. So we're gonna match those up to our connector and we'll be ready to go. And there it is guys, we have our QB120 build complete and ready to plug in. We're gonna fire this up, check out the dimmer, make sure everything's working, and we are ready to grow. Make sure you guys check out the giveaway video, there's gonna be a link down below. We're gonna be giving away some quantum boards, you guys don't wanna miss out on that. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have any questions about the build, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot more content coming, and again, we're giving away quantum boards. Peace.